Hi everyone, today we're here to talk about self-care for the caregivers. Oftentimes, caregivers neglect to take care of themselves because they're busy with work, taking care of their family, and oftentimes they neglect their own health. Now, physical well-being is just one component of self-care. When you get on the plane, oftentimes there is a manual to tell you about what happens when oxygen levels uh, uh, are low. The instructions oftentimes is when the mask comes down, you have to take care of yourself first. Put your own mask on before you take care of the person next to you. This is the same for caregiving. You have to take care of yourself first. Self-care is not selfish, but rather it allows the caregiver to remain focused, balanced, and have an effective way to deal with their emotions. And ultimately, this helps everyone involved. One of the first steps to self-care is being kind to yourself, loving yourself. Caregiving is not an easy task. Not everyone can be superhero, a superhero taking care of everything in the family. The first of the steps you need to take, again, is to take care of yourself. How, how can you go about doing so? First, you take care of your own physical health. Allow yourself to take breaks. This could be 10 to 20 minutes. Resting your eyes, listening to music, different ways to de-stress. Second, remember to exercise. Aim for 20 to 30 minutes of exercise at least three times a week. This is to make sure that you are taking care of yourself. Don't do something that uh, you're not supposed to be running a marathon, but at least exercise, do some yoga, some swimming, aerobic exercises to get the sweat going, to keep you going. Third, eat a balanced diet. Make sure you're eating healthy to help maintain your energy. And uh, last but not least, you do have to uh, prioritize sleep quality. You need to have at least seven to nine hours of sleep. I know it sounds like a lot, and it, oftentimes I have caregivers telling me it's not possible. So if that is going to happen, go to, uh, there are some ways to help you make sure that whatever amount of sleep you get, it is quality sleep. Make sure you go to bed and wake up at the same time each day. And before bed, make sure all electronics are put away for at least half an hour to one hour. No cell phones by the bed, no iPads by the bed. And if you know that your sleep will be interrupted, go to bed earlier, sleep when you can, and take cat naps during the day. However, those naps should, no, should not be longer than an hour per day. And always, always remember to ask for help. We are all in this together. Caregiving can sometimes be a very lonely process, but there are others out there that can help you. Caregiver support groups are a good way to, get, uh, to meet other caregivers that are going through the same ordeal or similar ordeal as you are. If you need more information regarding caregiver support services, please contact our Caregiver Education and Resource Center at 416-412-4571, extension 2360. We have staff there that would be able to give you more information regarding different services within Yihong and the external community to support you through the ordeal. We have education courses, we have one-on-one -on -one support through the caregiver support services uh, social workers, as well as support groups throughout the community to help you along the way.